Cal second year coach Roger Theater, 1979 would prove to be more satisfying against the red and white. Although in typical big game fashion, the gun would have to sound before the outcome was finally settled. The six 4-0 Bears were led by Rich Campbell, another quarterback in a long line of prolific passers. The first two times he touched the ball, the Bears would score. Cal fans were already celebrating with the Bears out in front 14-0, but their optimism was premature. With the score even at 14 apiece midway through the fourth period, another unusual big game play was about to take place. Cal had moved the ball from Stanford's 43 down to the 17, where Rich Campbell found tight end Joe Rose open in the end zone for an apparent touchdown. But one of the officials ruled Rose was out of bounds. It was clear to Cal and Stanford fans alike that the Cal receiver was clearly within the end zone and the Bears should have the lead. Finally, after the officials conferred, the decision was reversed and the Golden Bears were back on top 21-14. Under the field leadership of quarterback Turk Schoenert, the Cardinals still had plenty of time left to turn the game around. And it looked like that's exactly what they were going to do. 18 plays later, the ball rested on the California one-yard line. A Stanford touchdown and two-point conversion would give the Cardinal another dramatic come-from-behind victory. Schoenert went to the air. The ball was intended for the sure-handed Mike Dotterer. But Cal safety Ron Coach Emilio made a tremendous dive to knock the ball away from the Cardinal receiver's outstretched hands. After three long years, this big game victory belonged to the Bears. The 83rd renewal of the Cross Bay rivalry featured a strong Stanford offensive team led by quarterback John Elway. A potent Bear offense led by walk-on quarterback Jay Torchio combined with a hard-hitting Cal defense gave the Bears a 21-7 fourth quarter lead. But that's when Stanford went to work. With only five minutes remaining on the clock, Stanford had tied the score. Cal had the ball fourth and one at their own 45. The Bears elected to punt and the ball was downed on the Stanford five. That's when the Fates decided to smile on the Golden Bears. On the first play from scrimmage, Elway fumbled again and the ball was recovered by Cal defensive standout Dupree Marshall. Moments later, a three yard Torchio bootleg put the Bears back in front but Stanford still wasn't out of it. The defense dug in. On fourth down and now six yards to go for the touchdown, Elway went to the air, but a blitzing Kevin Moan forced Elway to hurry his pass and the ball fell incomplete. The Bears had done it one more time, pulling off another big game upset in the last moments of the game to keep the ax in Berkeley. 